Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 9th, okay? Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may or may not be for you, but it could happen in the next few days, or it may not happen at all, okay? The timing is fluid. Uh, I do realize that I have went from Sandra D to Rizzo in a matter of minutes, but how's that for transformation? So let's get started. What do we have for a message today? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups is somebody that is expressing feelings, flirting. There could be an increase of admiration here. You know, somebody may be really, really, or they have been in the past, uh, you know, uh, falling in love maybe. There could be an offer or an invite here. There could be some increased flirting or something like that. Knight of Cups is an offer of love typically or expressing feelings, right? Falling in love, flirting. Uh, it's a very flirtatious energy. Knight of Pentacles right next to it. Hmm. And the Ace of Swords reversed. So -ho. we have somebody here that has been flirting. Okay, they have been flirting. I'm not sure if they're putting in much effort now. Right now, they may be... Uh, not really doing anything because it goes from the Knight of Cups to the Knight of Pentacles reverse. That's that's stopping, not make not any moves. And then the Ace of Swords reverse is no communication, lack of communication. It could be a misunderstanding. We may have somebody here that is shutting down communication. They're not doing anything. You know, they're not taking any steps. They're they're stalling. They're procrastinating. It feels like there's some sort of, or there was a love connection here of some sort or something like that. Somebody may have been falling in love, but the Knight of Pentacles reversed is maybe somebody that's not really committed, you know. They're not really uh, putting in much effort, you know. They're not really open-minded or they're stubborn, you know. It feels like we have somebody here that is not really... Uh, open with the ace of swords reverse this person maybe they're not even telling the truth i mean we may have somebody here that's not very loyal you know they're not very loyal they're not very responsible they don't want responsibility they don't want commitment they don't want to put in the effort maybe that's not why they're maybe that's why they're not communicating um there is some sort of love connection though with the knight of cups re upright it is upright or maybe there was it looks like we have it looks like both these two people feel the connection though I feel like there's been, it's like the knight in shining armor has arrived, but, and there may have been like, uh, this may have been a crush or something. I'm not sure. It's like, but this is in the past position. So that's why I'm like, hmm, what is going on here? It's like there's some sort of love connection, but then the knight of pentacles reversed. That's like not putting in any effort. So right now, somebody is, maybe they're stalling or they're procrastinating or they don't want commitment. Not taking any new approach, okay, with the Ace of Swords reversed. Uh, hmm. Page of Pentacles right next to that Ace of Swords reversed. There could be a new, another prospect, right? There could be a new, a new prospect that has entered. Maybe that's why. Uh, maybe that's why this person isn't really communicating. Maybe they have another offer, another opportunity. Maybe they've they've been given another opportunity. So, hey, might as well take that one, right? Emperor. Emperor. Let's get the rest of the cards. Hero font reverse. Yeah, I don't want a commitment. Somebody, I feel like we have a love connection here, obviously, but then because now the hero font is almost in the past, it's in the present. That's lack of of commitment. It's it's uh, being held back by social pressure. Maybe receiving some poor counsel or some poor advice from somebody. Somebody maybe they may have received poor counsel. They may be afraid of commitment. You know, I don't know if I want a commitment. They may be already in a commitment 
or married or something. There is relationship problems here with the Hierophant reversed. You may have somebody here that is disloyal. Okay, they're, they're, they're not very loyal. This person isn't interested in having a commitment or they're not interested in um, Well, they're not listening to their gut, for one thing. The Hierophant reversed, no faith, no faith, no faith. Disgraced, relationship problems, broken marriage, broken relationship. We have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure. They're having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. That's why they're not taking any action. But action is going to be taken because we have a emperor here and the emperor is given to take action this is somebody who is a ruler this is a judge this is a leader this is somebody who does take action typically okay um not always um emperor is very decisive typically makes a decision that is best for everybody involved but the knight of pentacles is procrastination in reversed is procrastinating, it's stalling, not passing a test. You may have somebody here that hasn't passed a test. They're not acting with integrity. Doesn't really want responsibility. But there's a golden opportunity here with the Page of Pentacles. I mean, the Page of Pentacles is a new prospect, right? It's a new doorway. It's where somebody does find their moral integrity to do the right thing, okay? After they have not been doing the right thing, it's pretty clear that they haven't been. They haven't been able to take any action. They've been dishonest with themselves. They've shut down communication or something like that. Maybe because they were afraid to start over. I mean, the Page of Pentacles is hard work. It's hard work. It's hard work to start over. It is not easy. Somebody has a golden opportunity that leads to success because that's the Ace of Pentacles. It's a gift from God, okay? Somebody is being, has been given or they are given or they have an opportunity that can bring them stability. But it may require going out on their own or doing something that they never did before. And it may, they may be under a lot of social pressure to just not do it. Maybe they've received counsel from somebody that is not very enlightened, that is not very awakened. You know, that you should just stay put. Don't, don't do anything. Don't do anything. Stay here because it's safe. You know, it feels like we have somebody here that has received some poor counsel. Or maybe they, they're just, uh, lazy because the knight of pentacles can be lazy there's keep playing it safe oh yes that's what it is they're playing it safe strength strength so this is finding the courage the confidence the willpower the determination to replace that fear with faith and take action somebody is going to be taking action we have a masculine energy here that is finding their strength. They're finding their courage uh, to go down a new path. The strength, somebody is looking at something that is very um, beautiful as well because the strength is, is, is something, the strength card is lust, it's beauty, it's... it's um, they're looking at somebody that is very strong, very confident, very... Um, healthy it's like healthy strong confident beautiful so we definitely have a masculine that is looking at something that well it's graceful right it is graceful strength is 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 is, is graceful it's tact it's beauty but but I also feel like this masculine is finding their strength finding their courage to take action going to be starting down a new path somebody's going down a new path they are after they've been misguided it feels like misguided or or they didn't wake up or they were lazy there's laziness here there is laziness here there's probably fear of commitment as well 
you may have some this person feels like or they were in a they don't it's like they they're not sure about commitment not sure if i really want a commitment but this is so beautiful it is it is so beautiful Somebody's going to be getting an offer. They are going to be getting an offer from this masculine. They're going to be getting an opportunity. Tower. I was clarifying the emperor. The, this is a shock. It is a surprise. Okay, this is a... It's a big, big, huge surprise. Somebody's about to get a surprise, They're about to get a wake up call. We got judgment on the bottom. Judgment is the end of things. It's a life changing decision. We have a massive disruption. I feel like whoever this masculine is, is experiencing some sort of internal disruption. They're experiencing some chaos in their life or they're experiencing a dismantling of a false sense of security. Their world may be crashing down around them, perhaps. I mean, that's what the tower is. Everything happens for a reason. Now, the tower is a fated event. It's fate, okay? It's fated events. The universe causing something to happen, forcing change. So there, we have a masculine that is going through some sort of event right now that is forcing them to, it feels like start over because it goes emperor, tower, page of pentacles. Page of pentacles is starting over. It is starting over. It's like starting down a new path, you know, starting from scratch, starting over, right? It is broadening horizons. Um, Laying new plans, laying a new foundation. Somebody is going to be laying a new foundation. They are. They may be moving. They could be moving suddenly. The tower is extremely suddenly. It's, it's fast. Extremely, extremely fast. Down a new path. After they've been... There's lack of awakening here. With that Ace of Swords reverse, this, this, it's, it's right behind the Emperor that's like not waking up, not waking up, not accepting the truth, being dishonest. Somebody's been dishonest with themselves. But this is an awakening. This is an epiphany. It is accepting the truth. It's seeing the truth. It's acknowledging the truth, ready to be judged. We got somebody here that is ready. They're ready to be judged. They're ready to uh, be judged finding the courage somebody is it's almost like they're forced it's like the universe is forcing them out maybe they've experienced financial setbacks or financial loss you know their financial foundation is falling apart because the page of pentacles is about foundations financial foundations it's reversed and maybe it's because they're in a relationship with that hero font reverse that they're not really committed to or there's relationship problems there's you know uh Well, it's relationship problems. The emperor takes action. This is somebody that is very decisive, that is very wise. This is a wise, smart individual, okay? The emperor is the king of all kings, right? I mean, that's the truth. experiencing some internal disruption this emperor is experiencing some sort of disruption maybe it's obviously in their foundation because it goes the knight of pentacles reverse the emperor and the tower okay the tower is a foundation so isn't the knight of pentacles this is somebody who has worked hard to build up their foundation and it appears to be falling apart it does because if you're in a commitment that doesn't, it's not based on integrity, then, you know, that's what happens. And I feel like we have, a, we have love here with the Knight of Cups. If somebody may have a deep connection with another person. Maybe they were already in a commitment or they're afraid of commitment or they're uh, reluctant to start over. But judgment is the end of things and i feel like there's been karma this is a major karma card it's like this is being judged for your actions and being held accountable and getting the uh sentence right it's like being i mean judgment judgment is being sentenced 
So somebody has been sentenced. I feel like, and, and, and the only way they're going to get reprieve is to act with integrity and stop. Because the Knight of Pentacles reverse is stop. Stop. Being dishonest with the Ace of Swords reverse next to it. You have to stop being dishonest. You gotta, you gotta wake up. You gotta be held accountable. You gotta be truthful. This is truth being revealed. Judge, truth. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. It's the end. It's the end. It's the judgment day, right? It's the end. It's, it's the end. And we may have somebody here that is afraid of being accepted, but they will be forgiven because judgment is a card of forgiveness. So I do believe that we have a masculine that is experiencing some major disruption right now in their life because they didn't act with integrity. And I'm just being honest. They did not listen to their gut. They may have gotten themselves into a commitment for financial reasons. Finding the courage and the confidence and the willpower and the determination to take action. Somebody is taking action. They're going to be, it's almost like facing their demons. Seriously. The tower is a major disruption. Get prepared for a surprise. Light is going to be shed. There's some sort of truth that is going to come out. Uh, there's explosive energy as well. There could be a fight. We could have somebody here that is in some sort of situation. There's a huge fight which forces them to leave. Um... That is forced change. Dismantling of a false sense of security. Going down a new path. A path that isn't going to be easy to go down. Because a page of pentacles ain't easy. Somebody may be even receiving an apology. It is a complete shock. It is a complete surprise. This person may now want to be in a relationship. Could be somebody that you have a past life with. Judgment is a past life card. There could be a reconciliation between a, you know, a masculine, obviously, and a feminine that, you know, they have some sort of deep connection. There is a deep connection here. I'm positive. And when I say reconciliation with past life, people automatically think it's their ex. Fuck no. Sorry I had to swear with that one. Okay? It doesn't have to be your ex. You can have a reconciliation with somebody that you have known forever. You have a familiarity with this person. You know they're a soulmate from a past life. Oh, I guess we'll take those. Ten of Wands reversed, Four of Swords reversed, and the Six of Pentacles. So somebody is about to receive. They are about to receive something after they've been waiting. It's like they've been neglected. They're about to receive something that is going to bring them balance, going to make them happy. Uh, whoever they were receiving it from has been isolating themselves. Maybe they were, they were recuperating from something or they were tired. They were exhausted. They may have been sick. Um, taking a time out, thinking about things, working, 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 working. They were busy. They had a lot of other responsibilities. They had a lot of other deba de demands. Now it's time to relax. Now they're ready to give. Somebody has been trying to do too much. They've been overwhelmed. They've been extremely tired. They've, they've been thinking a lot about, um, it feels like their life. Um, this person has reached a point where they're ready, they're ready, they're ready, they're ready. And I want to say that because, it, again, when I started this reading, I said, are you ready? Be to myself, I was saying, you know, and sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. You do it about once a week, probably. And right before this reading, I was sitting here, I said, are you ready? <laughs> you know, so I don't know, I don't know about that. Anyhow, Ten of Wands reverse. That is letting something go that has been weighing someone down. Someone has been weighed down, maybe by responsibilities, maybe by fear, maybe by, you know, all the demands they had going on in their life. Now it's time to uh, wake up. It's time to come out of this slumber. It's time to give, to receive, because Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about, you know, you reap what you sow. And that's what karma is as well, okay? You reap what you sow. So 
Anyhow, this is getting what you deserve. Somebody's about to get what they deserve. And whether it, you know, there's two sides to karma, okay? There's two sides to justice, okay? Somebody's about to get what they deserve. Um, somebody may also be letting go of somebody that isolated them and giving to somebody else. I'm just going to throw that in there because that could certainly be the case. Going down a new path, you know, with somebody that is a king, okay? This is somebody that is a king. This is a masculine that is very determined to succeed you know this is somebody that is um willing to to start over you know this is somebody that is well for the page of pentacles this is a masculine that is ready ready okay ready to battle ready to fight that is ready to build a foundation so we do have a masculine here that is ready to build a foundation okay this person is done okay they're done uh holding on to whatever it was that was weighing them down they're done sleeping they're done laying there they're done they're done waiting okay they're ready they're ready to give and they're ready to receive so that's what i got good luck